gap. Estruda! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to a really fun video. So a bunch of you guys have been asking me to do some Sims Medieval gameplay. Since I have been posting a few like medieval renovations of me renovating some of the in-game lots and stuff that you can get. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today and we're just going to jump straight in to the save file that I'm playing with on stream I, because I just want to show you guys some of the things that this game has and maybe play through one of the quests with you so I don't know how long this is going to be or if I'm going to split it up into multiple videos if the quest is taking too long or anything like that but we'll see while we how we get through it but yeah so this is the kingdom for those of you guys that haven't played the sims medieval yet or that haven't come to any of our like live streams over on twitch we do stream medieval a lot over on twitch so there's a twitch link in the description if you guys want to go want to go and join us over there but yeah this is basically the kingdom so over there we're going to be building a tavern at some point we have the town square we have a market we have a blacksmith over there over there's the docks with a ship we have a lighthouse a like little grain water mill over there then up here on this cliff is the physician so the clinic and we have the wizard's tower and then over here on the big like cliff area is the entire like keep area of the kingdom so we have the spies quarters we have a reception hall for the castle we have the throne room then we also have the barracks and then over here we have the forest way back there we have a cute little watches pavilion with some fountains and stuff like that and then over here we have the Petrin monastery and right next to it is where we're going to be building the jacobin cathedral at some point and then down here we have the graveyard <laughs> cave and graveyard and then over there we have the like training yard that I still need to like make look pretty and stuff. And then we also have the king ball court and the judgment zone where your monarch can actually send sims to like be locked up in the stocks. And you can actually send sims to the pit to be eaten by the pit beast and everything like that. So yeah. With the tour out of the way, I'm going to go and see what kind of quests we can do. Okay, so we're going to be doing this one, this squirrel infestation quest. And it says, a recent deluge of squirrels had left the tree-loving folk of Birdly scrambling to save their homes. The Birdlyites <laughs> would surely pledge their allegiance to a kingdom that could help them out. So that's what we're going to be doing, and I... I think we're gonna we're not going to go burn because a controlled forest fire never sounds like a good idea so we're gonna go with hunting them and we're gonna play with the monarch just because I want to show you guys the monarch and the throne room and everything like that so it says a skilled huntsman could bring the squirrel population under control and save birdly from ravenous rodents so yeah we're gonna play with Queen Victoria the Great and we're gonna check this out so, okay, yeah, so apparently she is practicing. But it says, The court was abuzz with the news from Birdly. The woodcrafting community was beset with an infestation of tree-chewing squirrels that threatened the livelihood of all its people. 
It was rumored that Birdly was desperate and would pledge its allegiance to anyone who could save its trees. Well, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see, we need to, we need to go and talk, draft three militia members. Okay, we need to do that, but basically if you play with any sim that you play with, any hero that you play with, they always have these like daily tasks to do. So that's going to be fun. But yeah, she'll, she says, I'll just draft a fighting force and take down those furry menaces. Now who would join me? So yeah, we're going to go and do that at some point. But that's going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, let's draft Bold Master Shelby. He can be our first pick, I guess. And then maybe Guard Abigail, considering she's a god already. Yeah, so let's go and get her to help us out. A chance to fight squirrels. Sign me up. That sounds horrible, actually. <laughs> but we need to get to know her a little bit better before we can draft her. So let's just do that. Okay, so we can draft her into our militia. So let's do that. Let's draft her into the militia. And then we need, I think, one more, right? Okay, so if it is your will, I will serve. Fantastic. And now we just need to exterminate the squirrels in the forest. She needs to eat something. So eat and then go to the forest. Now that's a fine fighting party if I do say so myself. Time to assemble at the forest and get to work. Yeah, that's gonna go swimmingly, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that will go fine. But yeah, go hunt the squirrels. Over here we have the spy, we have Bellatrix, apparently, just hanging out at the forest. All of the, not all of the sims in this save file, but most of the sims in the save file are all named after Harry Potter characters, so that's fun. But yeah, so it says, it was slow and painstaking work, Queen Victoria and her militia had to creep cautiously through, through the bush, to avoid startling the squirrels before they could launch an attack. Although they did slay a few of the rodents, most were able to evade justice and to continue to molest the trees of Birdly. It was clear that swords were, uh, were of no use here. Yeah, I could have told you that. I could have told you that. Who knew that squirrels could bite so hard? <laughs> well, we didn't get them all, but the survivors will be telling their descendants about us. Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you were meant to do. You're just slightly injured. You have a moderate bite, which is great. I mean, getting bitten by a squirrel sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> but yeah, and we need to go and tell our royal advisor about it. And hear if she can... If we did well enough. Probably not, but... We'll see. Apparently she's not happy. Yes, we understand that you killed a lot of the squirrels, Queen Victoria, but unfortunately, Master Builder Britta of Birdly is complaining. Apparently, the people of Birdly are a soft folk and can't stand the sight of people massacring small woodland creatures. <laughs> You'll have to find another way. I mean... Really? You're complaining about the squirrels eating your trees, and then when we get rid of the squirrels, you're complaining about that too. I wonder if my fellow militia members have any good thoughts. Yeah, I'm sure they do. You know what? It sounds crazy, but I overheard the other two talking about getting a couple of dire chinchillas and dropping them off in the forest. Supposedly, a mated pair of dire chinchillas can be can de squirrelify a forest in minutes. Maybe one of our other militia friends know if there are any about for sale. I mean... Dire chinchillas. That sounds like a great idea. The fact that this game has dire chinchillas is just... <laughs> well, I did hear about the dire chinchilla thing from this hedge wizard down by the town square. Maybe he knows more about it. So we're going to go and find a hedge wizard. That sounds like an excellent idea, I'm sure. Let's just casually stroll down to the town square because every monarch needs to go and walk around their kingdom every now and then. 
But yeah, let's go and talk to, let's go ask the diet, the hedge wizard about the diet chinchillas. We also, because I am playing in our like save file that we have on stream, she's actually married to an elf, <laughs> to an elf prince, so that's fun. It's true, I might know where you could find a diet chinchilla or two, but what's in it for me? Really? Really? Name your price, or do you really want me to have to use my sword? <laughs> Let's go with that one. She's not in the mood. She's like... She, she's just not in the mood for his, like, attitude right now. I mean, really? She's the queen, and you're going to stand there and, like, tell her what to do. Like, it's not happening. Wow, her s she's so angry, her sword even disappeared. That's fantastic. <laughs> Fine, take them. I hope they eat your face off. Yeah, you too. You too, bud. Now we need to go back to the forest, deliver the dire chinchillas. I'm sure that's going to end it fabulously, because every forest needs some dire chinchillas. Wow, dire chinchillas. I can't even speak. But that's fun. Let's see. Let's go deliver the f creatures. As soon as the cages were opened, Queen Victoria the Great fled. There was no point in joining the squirrels in their furry toothy fate. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. But the fact that this game has dire chinchillas is absolutely amazing to me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it seems like such a stupid thing. But it's apparently the worst menace to have ever lived, is a dire chinchilla. Ow, those rodents really pack a fearsome bite. I almost feel sorry for those squirrels. <laughs> almost. But let's do some let's do some of her like daily tasks that she needs to do. She is apparently she has a major bite and a moderate one. She is not doing great. <laughs> like <laughs> poor girl. Like, look at that face. She's just not impressed. <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> She's not having a fun time right now. And apparently no one wants to speak to her. So that's great. But yeah, she's not doing great. So I'm just gonna have her... Who's in her bed? Get out! You... I'm sending her to the, to the stocks right now. She is going to the stocks. You, where am I? W look at her walk all like, she's in a bad mood. <laughs> Go to the stocks. You s she was sleeping in the monarch's bed. Like, get out. Get out. Go to sleep. Poor girl. Okay, so she just woke up. She's not in the best of moods, <laughs> like, at all. <laughs> She's, like, she has a grievous bite. She needs to get to the physician. And she also shirked some of her responsibilities, so that's not good. Why don't you call for some food or something? And just try and get in a little bit of a better mood. Go wash your face and, like, use the chamber pot or something. <laughs> Oh my word, she's like almost dead. Yeah, don't make food. You're like, isn't he bringing you food? Isn't he bringing you food? Oh my word, he's not bringing her food. Bad servant. I don't want servant. Give me food. Where's my food? We're the queen and we're starving. So seriously, give me food. Thank you very much. But yeah, let's go to the... <laughs> I think we should go to the, like, clinic. Let me just see where the physician is. Oh, he is over there. Yeah, let's go to the clinic. And yeah, he's apparently treating someone that has the plague. So, that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, let's go and get some first aid. Because, honestly, we need it. 
We're in like a really bad, we're in some really bad shape right now. Neville, we need your help. <laughs> Just give her a face full of leeches. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, that apparently did nothing. Let's buy some strong... Some strong health cell or something. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> okay, so apparently she still has a major bite. So we're not going to be feeding better anytime soon, apparently. So let's just report on the squirrel problem and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> I mean, she's still, she's still walking like she broke something. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> But oh well, at least the squirrel problem is solved. Frankly, Queen Victoria, I don't understand the logic. You eradicated a notorious pest by introducing one of the most deadly creatures known to man. Listen, Master Builder Britta of Birdley would like to have a word with you. I mean, now they're complaining about the chinchillas. What's the point? Ah, Queen Victoria, it's true, when we Birdlyites saw the dire chinchillas racing to murder us, we were initially afraid <laughs> for our lives. But we later realized that you taught us an important lesson. We Birdlyites need to be able to solve our own problems. We are determined to end the dire chinchilla menace ourselves. Would you be willing to teach us your fighting techniques? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Let's go and train her. <laughs> Let's go and train her. Master Boulder. Let's teach her how to fight and see if she can do a better job of it. Yeah, let's just finish that. Yeah, okay, so we're done. And we're done. We just did that. <laughs> it says, thank you, Queen Victoria. I will return to Birdly and train our hunters in the skills you have taught me. Birdly is grateful for the aid you have rendered us, and we will swear fealty to Senya Arda as long as you promise not to introduce any more invasive species. <laughs> well, yeah, through great determination and bravery, Queen Victoria drove the fearsome squirrels from the forest of Birdly, and in doing so, taught the, Birdly taught the Birdlyites an important lesson. A lesson so important that Birdly swore to Senya Arda that it would be... <laughs> But, but that would be sheltered from any further disasters. <laughs> well, we introduced some dire chinchillas to a forest that didn't have them. We got rid of some squirrels and we managed to get a kingdom to swear fealty to us. So I think that was a fairly productive day or like two days or whatever. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know. If you enjoyed this, this is something that I've never done before. I've never tried playing through some of the medieval quests with you guys. And I don't know how like entertaining it was. But let me know what you guys thought about this. And if you would like to see something like this again in the future. Maybe with another quest or something along those lines. And if you guys have any questions about this game... Feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. And yeah, if you would be interested in seeing more of this, of this game. And like I said, we do stream it quite a lot over on Twitch. So yeah, link down in the description. But if you guys like this, give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more Sims content, feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day and that you're all staying safe. And I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye guys.